everybody. Um, today I'm going to be doing a project with you um, using my um, papers that I've designed which you can purchase on my Etsy. You can get them as downloads or you can purchase the, um, the packs. You can get A4 six by sixes and we have I've got the ephemera and for this one I'm using Lebo Wazo which um, translates to the beautiful birds and um, I hope you enjoy I will put the link to my Etsy store which opened yesterday and um, we'll get to it so I'm going to be decorating this wooden plaque um, so first I want to give, um, I always like to give my MDF um, a coat of primer white gesso and I'll be using this one from Windsor and Newton we'll give it a quick coat Bit of quick, um, quick, a quick coating. Give them a quick glass just to dry them. The reason I paint it is because if I, I paint, if I just glued my paper straight on the, um, it would just soak right the way through. So this kind of helps the um, the glue to um, work better on on the paper that I intend to cover this with doesn't have to be perfect but just um, I just prefer it because I find if I don't the MDF just soaks up the um, soaks up the Mod Podge or whatever glue you use so, there we go so, that's that one There we are, that's that done. So for the base I'm going to um, use Goldfinger by Indigo Blue, it's a metallic paint and I just want to paint the bottom of this um, This, so I'm using a, um, a smaller brush. So that's that painted, I'll leave that to 
to dry for the minute. And right, mucky pup today. There we are. So before I move on to the next step, which is um, gluing, adhering papers from my kit, and I've used the bird cage. And I'm going to adhere. I've cut it down to size beforehand, so I'm going to glue that down. I'm just going to use a piece of, of this mylar to, to glue. And for the glue that I, I, I prefer to use is um, Mod Podge paper. I just stick this on. And then I'll add a, a coat to my, my MDI. Just a nice, quick, easy project to do, but I just wanted to show you the papers. They're really nice to work with. You can um, make sure it's up the right way. You can give this a coat of um, white. gesso you can stencil on them really nice papers so that's that side done I'll just do the back back now I never put any paper on the um, the slats here, um, otherwise I'd never get it inside inside the um, slats there. So that's that done, and I just want to give it. I just want to sand it, so I need my sanding block. And I'm just going to sand.
Here we are. So that's that bit done. Now as a sealant, I'm, the, black, the back of it I'm just going to leave plain like that. I'm just going to leave the back a bit like that. So I want to decorate the front of it and I've got this um, stencil and I'm going to use some modelling paste very lightly just to give it some texture. But first I'm going to give the front of this a coat of Mod Podge just so I can work with it and the paper is 190 GSM and uh, those of you who are observant will know that over the since December I've been sneakily using the papers on projects on my blog and uh, I do hope that you visit Jennifer and Jill Jill's blogs as well to see what they've done created just want to add uh, up in the corner not much just just to add some texture to it some down there here down this side Can you see? I put some texture at the top and then at the bottom. Get that idea. So I'm using Victorian velvet and I'm just going to lightly dust over the raised areas of these where I've added the just to give it a hint of colour take away the whiteness of the modelling paste you just run your, your blending tool gently over it you'll catch all the raised areas
I'm quite pleased with that. It's taken the whiteness back. I'm not sure if you can see. It's, it's giving it that nice, soft, subtle pink. And I'm going to be, um, this is one of the ephemeras. You get a eight, a six size, and then you get the same images, but in a smaller size. And I'll pick this bed and I'm just going to place that over there like that. So I need my Mod Podge for this. There it is. over here where I want it to go So while that's drying, sorry about that. So while that's drying, I'm just going to finish off painting down the side of the plinth. I'm just going to add the gold. kind of adding it so, so it gets some texture on it so I'll just put that to one side and what I want to do now is I want to add some of this down the side here just so it all comes together Again, I'm just adding texture to it. Not sure if you can see, can you see? Just hides that uh, the MDF. And because I've given it a coat of Mod Podge, it'll sit really nice. There we are, so I'll give that a quick care and blast with the heat gun. Okay, I'm just going to clean up a bit.
are going to sit this in here now in the plinth and then I can finish decorating so it should just sit in nicely there we are and I've got um, I've got this nice feather from a stash and I'm going to place that on there but I need to cut it and I've got this little robin that I'd like to sit on the edge so put this down wait for the glue gun to dry and uh, to heat up I've got this nice, really nice Christmassy that I want to lie along the bottom. So if I lie it down, so I want that to lie along the bottom there. Nice Christmassy feel to it. Even though we've had Christmas. That up there like that. I think I put that up there like that. Move off the feather. Right. It's nice just to play and sort out how you want things, and this is the beauty of it. So I hope I'm not in the way. My head isn't in the way. So we'll do that. And I just need to take off a couple of these feathers, so I need to separate this. There we go. I can't decide whether I want one or two feathers. That look nice up there. My feathers coming out knees. I do like my feathers. I've put feathers on everything if I could. If I thought I'd get away with it, I would. Right, okay. Oh, that might be a bit too big. That might be better. I think that might be better. Okay, this should be got now. I decided how I'm going to do it, so I'm going to place the feather there. I'm going to face this here. going to sit my robin or my little bird on the top like that I'll just wait a, a few minutes while it sets Feathers everywhere now. So I've got that there. 
So if I lie that down, can you see? I will take some still photographs for the end, but I just feel it needs something there. So out comes my trusty little box full of bits and bobs. And uh, I think I think we'll have some bling. Have to have some bling. I think. And place that down there. I think just needed something in that corner. I think put this on, and then we can call it finished. there is my finished project using papers from Emerald City Crafts which is my new Etsy sh shop with papers and ephemera that I've designed. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you en enjoy the papers as much as I did. Um, putting them together. I will put um, some still photographs at the end of this uh, video for you to have a closer look and thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.